Passover and Easter are coming up. What wines should you have on your dinner table? I'd like to welcome in Matthew Horban, our wine expert. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. So we got four wines here. Yep. Two for Passover, two for Easter. We're starting with Passover. What do you have? So the first one we have is the um, Hagafen Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. It comes from Napa. So it's a U.S. grape, it's kosher for Passover, it has that typical oaky, buttery Chardonnay, and for people who are going to serve things like chicken or, or a lighter fare, it's right. going to pair perfectly. Okay, and we get a look at that. There it is right there. 20 bucks, pretty About good 20, deal? 20 bucks. Total Wine has you covered for Passover. They have uh, even Manischewitz. Oh, my favorite. I know, I know. So they, they have that. They have a whole host of them, and I taste through about 15 to get to these two. Why no love for Manischewitz? Um, it's a little bit, it's, it's, a, it's a Concord grape, it's a little bit sweet, it doesn't really yeah. pair well with the food. I, I tried to pick a red wine that has a little bit more fruit to it. Manischewitz and matzah. Yeah, I, I would go with the uh, Baron Herzog Cabernet and matzah, personally. Okay, so next up. That's the Baron Herzog uh, Cabernet. It's about $13, so really affordable. And I picked this because it has a little bit more fruit to it, a little bit of Bing cherry and black cherry, mm -hmm. but it'll go well with your brisket or, or you know, flanken or, or any of those uh, heavier meats, even if you do a uh, lamb shank. You said brisket. I said brisket. That'd be a good one. I love brisket. I love brisket. Too. I have a great brisket recipe that one really? day I'll put on my website. Oh, oh it's amazing. Looking forward to that. Now, let's talk Easter. What do you have? Easter, I actually picked the same producer, Don David. It's mm -hmm. imported by Frederick Weilman. They um, are really good wines. They come from Argentina. The first one, and I want you to smell this one. This first one has this beautiful nose of white flour and melon. <laughs> and it's got some great flavors. It, goes, it has some citrus in it. It goes well with Thai food. So the food oh. that you were, that you uh, chef made earlier, right, which right. Ben has been enjoying the entire morning, uh, this wine will pair well with, but it also pair well with your appetizers and anything else you have going on. Nothing at says morning and Easter like Thai food. Thai food and white wine, exactly. Uh -huh. So and now Don David has a red wine that I'll talk about. It's a Malbec. This Malbec has gotten great reviews. It's got 90 points from various wine writers. It has a fantastic palette of red cherries and a little bit of chocolate, and it's going to go well with, you know, lamb and Easter is a typical dish. Mm -hmm. This is going to go really well with it. So, okay. I so, don't know if it'll go with the Thai food as well as I'm the Toronto taste smell does. Here. Okay. But. <laughs> I don't drink too much, I'll get myself in trouble. All right, so out of the four wines, you've got to pick one wine, just the best of the best. Which one is it? Um, it that's a tough choice for, uh, I like this Torontes because I think it's light and floral and fun to drink. Um, so I'd probably go with that personally, but I like some of the others. Real well. quick, do you have any events coming up you'll be in the period? I'll at? actually be at Gratify next Friday mm -hmm. doing a whiskey tasting. Whiskey tasting, yeah. all right. There you go, that's, that's a whole different uh, ball game than Other than side of the coin, but I love it. All right, Matthew Horbon, always a pleasure, sure. Oh, Thank pleasure. you so much. Joining Thank us you. at Good Morning South Florida. We're back in a moment. <laughs>